Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is India and today we are going to be doing an unboxing I think I've had since May. I think I've had it since May. Um, it's August now. I don't know when this video is going to go up. <laughs> um, but it's August now. I've had this unboxing since May. Uh, but before that, I think it took me a year to get it. <laughs> took me over a year, I think, to get it. So let's dive in. Anyway, like I said, my name is India, and if you can't tell from the title today, we're going to be doing an unboxing of a Fairy Loot special edition of the Crescent City box. Um, this isn't going to be a long video. Um, there are probably plenty. I know I have a review of the initial book, um, House of Earth and Blood, the Crescent City number one book. I have a review, and I think maybe even a vlog of it um, up, so you can check that out. Um, the reason I remember it came in May is because I finally read the second book on a cruise I went on with, on vacation I went on with my husband back in May. I finally read it. I did enjoy it. It was, I loved it. Um, it was great. The ending is fucking fantastic. Um, if you are a Sarah J. Mass world reader, you gotta read the world. You gotta read the whole world. I love it. Anyway, as I'm about to dive in. Apparently I don't know how to cut or I can't find the seam. I don't know. So these have just been sitting in my doorway, my entryway since May. Um, definitely bought them last year. Like I said, I think it took over a year for Fairy Loot to get them out, to get them done and get them out. I knew that they were going to be a pre-order, um, but then I think they might have had some, some complications and then it pushed it back and pushed it back, but whatever. It's not like I was looking to read these books. I was looking to put them on my bookshelves, so <laughs> it didn't really matter. But it's been a long time since I've done a Fairy Loot unboxing. I stopped buying all the book subscription boxes mainly because I stopped wanting stuff. I really wanted the book, the special edition books, because I'm a book hoarder, a book buyer, a book collector. That sounds better, book collector. But I just want the stuff. Um, so just a Fairy Loot thank you card, nothing exciting. And it's not like a surprise. We know what's in here. But I cannot wait to see the person. Okay, I'm just making peanut mess, but I'll recycle the peanuts. Oh, I'm already in love. I'm gonna show it to you. I should I get out this box. I hope they do the rest of the series too. Cause now I'm gonna have to buy more, which they know that. I hope they do the rest of the series. Okay, look at this butte. Like, look at it in the box. In the box. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Oh my gosh, she's a beaut. She's an absolute beauty. She's beauty and she's grace. What's that movie? What's that from? What's that? What's that from, guys? What movie is that from? And then look at this House of Sky and Breath. Oh my goodness. Eek. Eek. Yeah, I haven't actually bought the physical copy of House of Sky and Breath, so I really do need to do that um, before they reprint them like they did with um, Akatar and Throne of Glass. I know I never started buying Throne of Glass, and I'm kind of disappointed in myself for that, um, just to have the collection. Why I'm collecting Sarah J. Mass books, I don't know. Like, I don't have a good reason because it's not like I'm not going to get any of Akatar anything tattooed on me um, or anything like that. Hold on, my mom is calling me, so pause. Okay, I remember what I was saying. 
Guys, it's quilt festival season. If you didn't know, just a little interjection. If you didn't know, my mom is a quilter. That is her hobby. Um, so you can follow her on her Instagram. Mom, you're welcome for this plug. Ovi Brantley. Ovi Speaks Quilts is her Instagram and her website, Ovi Speaks Quilts. How eloquent. Um, <laughs> and then, of course, uh, Quilt Festival is Atlanta Quilt Festival, and it's August, so it's quilt festival season. So that means I am um, indentured servitude, forced labor. Um, you know, I don't get to have a union nor a union rep. So if my mom calls me in August, I have to answer. She's lucky she's my favorite. Anyway, ugh. But I was talking about House of Sky and Breath and how I don't even have the physical copy. And I don't know why I want to collect Sarah J. Mass books of that. I don't know why. It is literally a compulsion. Like, it's not the world. It's literally a compulsion. Um... But, like I said, I'm not going to get, like, tattoos of it on me anytime soon. I'd rather go with Lord of the Rings and other things. Um, but... Oh! Guys! Guys! It is just so beautiful. I have no regrets. And this purchase was expensive, and I've got no regrets. Not even going to show you the other part yet. Oh, she's so pretty. Yeah, this book is massive. And can you just imagine me being on my on my vacation just uh just a reading it. Just a reading it. Pin pin, I can't play right now, big girl. Mommy's looking at art. Art. Oh, and it's got the like um placeholder in there. You know what? I didn't even open it. Didn't even open it. I was afraid. Always gotta open a fairy loop book. That was Look at that. Bryce and Hunt. At the mouth. Oh, that was almost a rookie mistake, guys, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know. I'm sorry. No. Don't know what he's Oh, okay. And the next one. Ooh. So the I showed you guys the second one first. I'm sorry, it was what my hand grabbed. And it is of that blue tone just like the physical hardback is. Um and then this one is of that beautiful red tone um, that the the first print copy is. Oh, she's a beaut. I am just such a sucker for beautiful books. Spent all the monies. Okay, this would be like, you know when there's just quotes that you're just like okay i get it Th this is one of them look at these look at the details on the front like if you've read the book you know what what these details are and all that kind of stuff you know and you know why just seeing this makes me seeing this just makes me want to cry you know let's see what's on the inside oh Look at our wolfies. Danica and Bryce. Oh. Oh. See, there wasn't the back on the other one. We get, I think, we get Rowan and Hunt and Athalar. We get Rowan and Athalar on the back of this one. Nice. Ah! Sorry, the details that come to play. Did I, did I do that for the other one? And these are red splayed edges, sprayed edges, and the other ones are blue, if you didn't notice that. Now I gotta look at the other one, but there was nothing on the inside of that back cover. 
Aww. Sorry. I'm still finding things. I'm still finding things. I have no regards. Zero regards. Zero. Regards. Mmm, they are beauties. Absolute beauties, and they're really just for me to look at. But now I gotta look at the back of this one, or look at the pages. Like I said, blue. Look at that, we get hunt. I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention to the artwork on the front for some reason. We've got the otters, the snake queen. Of course, the wolf. We know who that's for. Angels. We've got the trident. We know who that's for. But I was supposed to be looking at the back of this. Oh, we did get somebody. It was just folded in. We got... um. Wow, guys, names just, you know, the mayor and, um, what's that little boy pining after Bryce? <laughs> and we got these two. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I just forgot names like wildfire. If I remember, I'll type it down. And we got that one back. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. When I opened it the first time, all I saw was, was, was this. So that's my bad. That's my bad, but it's beautiful. Our sunball player, what's that boy name? Ethan, Ethan, and um, mm, don't remember. It's not coming to me. It's not coming to me. The one who's supposed to marry the princess. Oh my god, but these are just so pretty. And they're just gonna look so pretty on my shelf. Look at that. Just just look at that. It looks so pretty. You can display it either direction and be happy with it. Like you could switch it up based on your mood, you know, and just be happy with it. So anyway guys, that's me just gushing over purchases, um, gushing over consumerism, and that's fine. Um just letting you know. Anyway, <laughs> that's it for me guys. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that bell notification button so you always know when I'm posting something. Don't forget to follow me on all of the social medias. And until next time, keep turning the pages.